<sighs> All right. You guys, somebody out there might realize that I made a video about these YKS batteries that I got off of eBay a while back. And I ordered a new one. I would used a bunch of their mini sizes. Um, I've had one of the three cells, like EA. Um, I've had several other two cells, and I've used them in a lot of my 1 16th and 1 18th scale vehicles. Didn't have any problems, didn't really have any notes of complaint, really, other than some of them. I did have a couple show up dead on arrival. Well, I decided I was going to order or try one of the bigger sizes for a 110 scale or bigger RC. So I grabbed what was going to be the most economical out of the group. Um, some of the others they've got could actually be bought cheaper in a more well-known and traditional brand. Actually, I shouldn't say traditional. More well-known and respected brand. So I grabbed this one just for evaluation purposes. And to be blunt, in a low-powered system, it probably wouldn't be too bad. I do mean low-powered. Um, the vehicle I'm using this in right now is a uh, ZD Racing uh, 110 scale truck slash Turnagy uh, Stadium King. And I ended up putting a brushless system in it out of a ready-to-run short course truck by uh, Racer's Edge. And the system's fairly powerful, but it isn't, I mean, it isn't really uber potent or anything like that. Um, and this should be able to keep up with just its 20C rating. I mean, that's 100 amps, and the ESC is only rated at 60 at max, so I should be seeing some temps there. The motor temps are good, but... Right about the time that you figure you're about halfway through the pack is when it dumps. And I ended up uh, using my charger to do a little bit of checking to see how much capacity this had. And really, I'm running out of amperage at about the halfway point. It pretty much stops at the storage voltage. Um, that storage voltage. I mean, it's in the... 3.7 to 3.8 range that just dies, and you start getting a, I start getting a lot of cogging and other issues where I'm just not pulling enough amp, not able to pull enough amps out of it. But uh, I think with something really low powered, it wouldn't be too bad. But the main problem I have with it is the fact that I don't know of anything offhand that it actually fits. Um, when they say 50 millimeters as the uh, baseline on the width, they're not joking. Um, a normal six cell pack is quite a bit skinnier and it just doesn't fit into the battery compartment on a lot of uh, a lot of RC cars. And it's actually a little bit longer than a standard six cell. So you're going to be out of luck in a lot of cases on trying to fit one without excuse me, some extensive modifications, so I would probably steer clear of these. Um, the capacity seems to be about right if you had a really low amp draw vehicle, but most of them are going to be configured for a stick pack, and it's just not going to fit. Um, I barely, and I repeat, barely got this to fit in the ZV racing car, and, uh, I was actually kind of worried about damaging the battery pack in the manner I had to install it, but uh, at this point it's just kind of a throwaway for me. Um, it might do good in something low amp, but I just don't know of anything it would actually fit in. Um, I know it won't fit in any of my Traxxas vehicles at all. Um, it's just physically too wide, and uh, even the ones I've enlarged the battery compartment lengthwise, it's going to be a tight fit lengthwise, so... I really don't recommend this thing. I really, really don't.